Hello everyone. So FSD or full self-driving just came out on the Tesla Model 3 and I guess it came out for quite a yeah. few. It's not just, you know, your traffic aware autopilot. It's a full FSD. I would say like 95% FSD. It's definitely got its quirks. It's beta for a reason. As everyone knows, the self-driving has not even been remotely activated or even usable for the past four or five years since they start designing it. And just recently, the past couple of weeks, Tesla actually opened up the beta for self-driving and we are gonna go for a test drive and test this FSD out. What do you think so far? Oh, Stressful. It's not exactly stress-free driving. Uh, you gotta pay attention and it's almost like you're co-piloting the car or co-driving or babysitting someone else that's driving. There's a lot of improvements to be made. There's a lot of little quirks that it comes with. It can't navigate around construction all that well. From what I've seen going around construction or trying to make turns in construction, you know, it, it changes everything. We're gonna do about a three to four mile FSD drive and see what we could discover. So there's, there's a total of five strikes basically. And if you get more than, if you get five strikes, they disable the beta for you and you're not able to use it. Now, when I first got it, I got my first two strikes both within like 30 minutes because I was testing it. I didn't really understand how it all worked and was trying to get used to everything and was kind of testing it. If you look away from like the road for too long or if you're on your phone or doing something else, it knows and it gets like really mad at you. And that kind of explains this little camera right here that I never figured out what the heck this is for because we can never activate this camera, any of the camera features. So this one right here. So back to the two strikes that you got, is it because you looked away for a long period of time or the moment you looked away, it just it, it Yeah, it's because I looked away for, I want to say like 15 seconds or so. They gave you a warning first, right? It gave me a warning and it said, please pay attention to the road. And it highlighted something like in red. And even though I was like applying pressure to the steering wheel, it actually gave me a strike. The thing is every 15, 20 seconds, if you are paying attention, it'll say, apply slight pressure to the steering wheel. And you nice. do that and the warning goes away. All right, well, why don't we check it out? We're at the parking lot. Let's set a navigation. Take me to Wells Fargo. Let's do that one. So you have to actually put it in drive for it to activate? Yes, you gotta put it in drive. I'm gonna just exit out here. Okay. I'm gonna find out. Okay, so like I said, I'm, I'm not really touching anything, <laughs> but I am, uh, whoa. Oh, it was a little jerky. Yeah. <laughs> what, what the heck was that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm keeping slight, like uh, my slight pressure on the steering wheel and keeping my hands around it. Okay. Trying to make sure that uh, it doesn't get mad at me. I'm gonna take over out of sheer embarrassment if people start hawking at us because uh, no, we're it's, taking too long. It's okay, they can wait. One thing I really wanna to test today is if we could get to a stop sign. How I'm really curious how does the AI know which car got to the stop sign first and which one gets to go first. Oh, Ooh. okay. Okay, so we're trying to get into this lane. It, it stopped abruptly right there. Yeah, it's trying to figure out the distance, okay. In the very low or no internet situation, when I experience on the way to Tucson, when I have it on, self-driving the base version it happened two three times when i'm going over a hill and all of a sudden just slammed on the brakes like there was a car in front of me but there was no car in sight for miles and miles so i don't know if it has anything to do with internet or maybe that's how tesla vision communicates with the server and tells the car to stop so this will be interesting to see if it's something similar or completely different. And that blue light just came on telling him he needs to a little bit of uh, tension on the steering wheel. Let's see how this car handles it. Oh, Ooh. That, you're right. That was a little uh, nerve wracking. Coming up to a red. Oh, pretty good. So can you adjust the distance? from this car to the other yeah, car? Yeah, you can adjust the follow distance like normal. Right now it's in assertive mode, so it has smaller follow distance. Assertive, is that more aggressive mode? Yeah. Try to put it on chill mode, what happens? In this profile, Model 3 have a larger following distance before fewer speed lane changes. Average is probably a mixture of both. Have a medium, okay. Well, let's keep it in assertive and see what happens. All right, light turn green. Oh, so does the accelerator pedal actually get depressed automatically? Yeah, it feels like it's pressed oh, down a little bit. Okay. All right, moderate amount of traffic around this. Why don't we put in the medium mode so we have a little bit more distance? 
and let people give people a chance to cut in. Have you tried in the roundabout? Yeah, it works just fine in a roundabout, actually. It's a little jerky, though. Oh, Always. it's Megan right turn, Megan right turn. Oh, did it signal by itself? It did, yep. There's a, there's a motorcycle. Okay. Oh, he's about to cut in. Okay, so the car didn't. <laughs> Show off. Huh, the car just slowed down on its own. I'm gonna press on the, whoa. I'm gonna take over right there. Oh, what was that? I don't know, but I was just a little nervous about that. It, it so, was going to the right, but it was, it was waiting for the motorcycle to pass. Okay. But it was braking so, too slow. Is it following the speed limit? It is, so you can so, go up to like five to 10 miles. Okay, so you can still adjust exceeding the speed limit. Oh, it's coming up to a stop sign right here. Okay, coming to a stop sign, right it's not a red light. Okay, interesting. It's freaking out a little bit yeah, with the double With the double lines. dotted line because the those are the bike lanes, right? Yeah. yeah. Those wow. bike lanes, the car had no idea what was going on. Now here we got the dotted yellow lines, okay? It recognized that. So we got into the left turning lane. Okay, we're coming to a okay. stop right here and there's okay. a car behind This is us. interesting right here. Okay, so we got here first. That car started Going. to sped up, but we continue to proceed, okay? So recognize that we got there first. Yeah, that was a that was a nice reaction time. Sometimes the reaction time can be kind of slow. We're gonna make a right. It's not crossing over to the turn lane. It's still doing it right yeah, here. It was not in the turn lane there. I don't, I don't think it was close enough to be making a right turn. So we have a, a, a guy who's blowing leaves right uh -oh. here. Ooh. Okay, the car actually swerved. It's interesting. Without you doing yeah. anything. So the car did swerve. All right, let's go test the roundabouts. Roundabouts I'm always sketchy on, especially doing heavy traffic conditions. I'm actually who's not. Who's gonna yield, who's gonna go first, who's gonna proceed. Half the people follow the rules, half doesn't. I'm a little nervous about the roundabouts actually because sometimes it kind of just you're supposed to have two cars being able to go through the roundabout at the same yeah. time sometimes it just goes be between the two lanes of a roundabout oh the car just cut us off Ooh, the car started to swerve oh, no no it actually turned into the left lane but we're gonna see how this goes i'm gonna keep my hands close yep. to the wheel just in case and i'm gonna keep my foot above the brakes and the gas did it just deactivate Oh, oh, what no, is it going. doing? I don't know what it's doing, but yeah, I'm going to have to press on the gas a little yeah, bit. Cause it just changed lanes in the middle of the turn. Whoa. I had to disengage right there. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's a little iffy. Okay. But there you go. For 6K, though, it's pretty cool. Oh, oh. oh let's see. You're, the car's braking, right? Yeah. Oh, good. Good. Okay. Oh. So the last three years, I know you used the... Uh, FSD feature a lot on the freeways, well, right? The, it's more like an auto, they call it autopilot. Autopilot, yeah. okay. So the autopilot, when you activate on the freeway, do you still need to get your hand on the steering wheel? Yeah, it'll still give you, uh, it still oh, wants you to so every pay attention. 10, 15 seconds, you still have to Yeah, apply slight tension. pressure or do something to, to make a, the steering wheel sensors go off so that oh, it's not interesting. Uh, going crazy and asking you to stop. How can you name something full self-driving? but it requires your hands to be on the steering wheel. Pays it. Uh, well, you're supposed to still pay attention. Correct. Me personally, I haven't bought it, and now at least they give you the option of the $199 a month just to rent it out. I think that's an option that a lot of people are going for. Who wants to shut out 15 grand for a software I don't update. know why it was taking so long to accelerate there, but I'm hmm. pressing the gas a little bit. Okay, so automatically adjusted to the speed limit on the street. We were going about 35, and when it changed 25, it dropped down. So that's good. But this is residential zone. 
that's weird. There shouldn't be speed limit in the residential, number one. I'm not sure why that says 25. And two, do you feel comfortable going 25 in the residential? Probably go a little slower, you know? You probably want to go 15 or 20 in residential. Correct. Area. I wonder if there's a setting you could do in the car where you don't have to reduce the speed after we're here, but just automatically reduce to lower speed in the residential area. Have you seen that yet? Nope. Okay. We're gonna go on the highway. One more try. We're gonna check out the highway. Yeah, there's the new Rivian Amazon truck. That thing is a beauty. We're just at a stop sign. There was no car ahead, and the car it highlights started like a, to take off, stopped, and then just kind of creeped through the intersection. It's like a blue wall almost that pops up. I'm not sure what that is. All right, after this left turn, we're gonna get on the freeway entrance. It doesn't matter on the freeway. Oh, it didn't stop. It was gonna stop up there because it, you see that line up there? Ah. It was gonna, so it read that, that and it was gonna stop all okay. the way up there instead of like so. back here. All right, handle this turn okay. Now it's a merge two and the one. So we do have a vehicle that stopped on the, almost at the exit. Okay, let's see how this handles freeway merging. Pretty nice. set at 65 miles an hour. I don't think I activated it. That's my... <laughs> you have to press that button to activate the like full autopilot when it's on the, the a freeway or a highway. It should get off on the next exit, right? I hope so, yeah. Did you activate that button? Yeah, it, it's driving itself. It's following the blue line and stuff. All right, there you have it. There's still a lot of glitches with this Tesla FSD. That's why it's still in Oops. beta. That concludes our test. You like it? Would you buy it again? For six thousand, probably. Not, not for not, fifteen. No, yeah, right. not 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 at this stage. Yeah, I don't think at any stage I'll pay fifteen thousand dollars to let the car drive me around and experience that. But I'm sure it's going to get better. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and we'll bring up more content in the near future. Have a great day.